Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I got a very, very, very funny article. Not. I come from a country called Romania, where Romanians are Caucasians, are white. Uh, I uh, met a lot of Ukrainians, and I read about Ukraine, and I know that Ukrainians are come from Slavic tribes, Slavic people. Now, they're Slavs. They are white, Caucasians. Ukrainians are related to other Slavic uh, nations, tribes, like Russians, Poles, you know, uh, Bulgarians. Okay, we got that covered. Now, we have a problem between cousins, brothers, however you want to call the, the Hungarians, the um, Ukrainians and the Russians. Now, I'm going to show you a picture of an article from Reuters, where they, they talk about Poland takes in most Ukrainians fleeing war in March, EU figures show. So, and they put a, put a picture, placed a picture here of some Ukrainians, okay? But I want you to analyze it. It's from today, June 3rd. Poland takes in most Ukrainians fleeing the war in March. Now, I know how Ukrainians look. Please look. Clear enough? Not? All right, you got the point, right? I don't have anything to do. I don't have any problems with this kind of racially different people, you know, being pictured in something that would reflect the nation that we're talking about. We talk about Ukraine. Maybe there are some immigrants who came into Ukraine, 0.0. .0 Zero one percent. I don't know, but they're not like here in the United States. They're not a multi-racial country, unless you consider zero point zero something as being multi-multi-racial. I, as I said, this is deceiving. If I've never heard of Ukraine, let's say I'm, I don't want to insult any country and anybody. That's not the the goal of this video. Uh, it's, uh, that kind of video is for later. So if I'm from, I don't know, I'm, let's say I'm a 17-year-old or 25-year-old individual and I'm very familiar with Ukraine and the Russians and I look at this, what, what will I think the Ukrainians look like? Obviously, I would say the Ukrainians are black, right? There's no doubt about it. Is that correct? Is that accurate? Is that the accurate description of the great majority of Ukrainians? I would say overwhelming majority. No, it's not. It's not accurate. So that is a misleading picture. Why is it misleading? Why would they put this over here? You tell me. Because if I say, I'm gonna look different. All right. It's like you saw. Okay, people from Zambia uh, immigrate to I don't know. Zimbabwe, and they show some, I don't know, some Asians or some Romanians like me. Do you think that uh, somebody will feel offended about that? Someone will say, Why? wait, 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 Reuters, what's going on, Reuters? No, and I've seen this before. I saw Nigel Farage, the Brexit guy, which is a fantastic guy. When he was talking about the illegal immigration into Great Britain over the English Channel from France, supported by certain organizations and he was saying you know the same thing they were showing like immigrants coming from europe like european countries and they were showing the same kind of sub-saharan uh, population no europe sorry to, to to break the news is a certain kind of you know majority so when you show a picture you show to you know to reflect the majority, the reality. So they were saying something like the Europeans are migrating, but when they were showing this, if they would say refugees from some, yes. But it was the same misleading pictures of individuals that were just small. I would not say uh, what's his name, uh, uh, Trudeau, Justin Trudeau, the prime minister of Canada, fringe minority. No, I'm a minor, small minority. But 
call it as it is. Otherwise, it's very misleading. And people who never heard about these things, they will have a faulty, you know, uh, uh, interpretation of reality. Why would they do this? This is a second or third article I see like this. I saw in the past, but I said, ah, oh, well, maybe, maybe it's not, you know, it's just a, how should I put it, a coincidence or what? Even though I really know why this occurs. I have no doubt that it was not a, a mistake. That's my, my, my assessment. I don't think uh, th that was a mistake. I mean, how ignorant can you be to be, I mean, and if you're that ignorant to put that picture and say the Ukrainians, immigrants or uh, refugees, then you should not work for a uh, Reuters. You should not. And even that, that the guy, the person who placed, placed that picture, that was vetted like 50 times before it was placed over there. Because it's not, oh, this is the picture, let's put it over there. There are people who make decisions. Is this the right one? Is this the right angle? Why should we put this? Why shouldn't we put? There are meetings. You don't put whatever you want over there. You don't put an elephant over there and say, well, the Ukrainians are uh, refugees in Poland. This is just an example. One example I have, I can stay here years and tell you about examples like this. And uh, I'm not because, uh, you know, <clears throat> Nevertheless, this is the, uh, 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 if they would say, let's say, Romanians, um, refugees, and they would place that kind of picture, that's a lie. That's a lie right there. Why? Because, you see, America is a, United States of America is a, um, it's a, um, how do you call it, a, uh, a societal experiment. It's an experiment here. This is an experiment and they expect every other country on this planet to become the social experiment these guys are pushing not these guys there are certain people you can find them you can find the names no problem the thing is they are pushing a certain social experiment that it's not the same everywhere they have certain interpretations of of biology of reality um and uh, certain people, that's their right. They can do that. But it doesn't mean that that is the reality. That is the scientific reality. But I'm not going to go deeper than that. I don't think this is a coincidence. And as I said, that's not accurate. It's not accurate. Is that, I don't know. Want another example? I would show a Zulu tribe. And in a Zulu tribe, I would show some, I don't know, like some, some diversity. Some, I don't know, some Asians, some uh, uh, whites, Caucasians, I don't know, some, uh, um, who knows, Inuit, whatever they are. And put them over there as Zulu. Is that, is that what it is? Is that how it was? Is that a reality? And if it's a reality, how much of this is a reality? Like for now, nowadays you watch movies where they say, oh, it's based on reality, on a true story. I want to know how much is based on a true story. It was a guy and a girl. That's the, that's the extent of the true story. And everything else is made up. It's made up. I want to know how, what's the percentage, how much it goes with the true story. 5% of the movie, 99% of the movie, they make up things. And they say it's a fool, it's a, it's a uh, real, based on the real, real life story. Like what? It was sometimes an Emil Kaufman and uh, Tom Jones. And you show them that, like they met and they were friends, they were fishing and so on. That's a true story. Emil existed, Tom Jones existed. Have we ever met? No, no. But that's how the movies go. Yeah, I saw Tom Jones a few times in concerts, but we never drank or we never went fishing. But they can, you know, turn it. And after the concert, we went drinking and we uh, met some ladies of the night and, <clears throat> and so on. I mean, really. It's, it's unbelievable. So the same here. These are just creating a new reality right in your face. And if you don't know about it, you learn. This You think this is a, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. That's how it is. That's how it is. Thank you for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.